welcome to another video in this video we are going to discuss about a numerical on pattern allowance considering shrinkage machining and draft allowance determine the dimension of the pattern for casting shown in the figure shrinkage allowance is 20 mm per meter machining allowance on all surface and bore is 1 mm 0.75 and 1 degree draft allowance for external and internal dimensions respectively dimensions given on the castings are 200 mm width is 100 mm height is 150 mm diameter is 60 mm let's first consider the shrinkage allowance the shrinkage allowance given here is 20 mm per meter it means for 1000 mm there is a shrinkage of 20 mm hence our multiplying factor for the dimensions will become 0.02 the dimensions of the pattern considering the shrinkage are as follows the length it is 200 mm plus 200 into 0.02 which comes out to be 200 plus 4 which is is equal to 204 similarly the width is of 100 so 1 into 0.100 into width is w is equal to 100 plus 100 into 0.02 which comes out to be 100 plus 2 which is, is equal to 102 mm next is the height which is 150 mm plus 150 into 0.02 which is 150 plus 3 which is is equal to 153 as far as bore is concerned the shrinkage allowance considered here will be negative so it means we have to reduce the diameter in order to get the proper dimension on the casting so the diameter is is equal to 60 minus we need to calculate 60 multiplied by 0.02 which is is equal to 60 minus 1. Two, so which is leads to a dimension of fifty-eight point eight mm. It means when you consider the shrinkage pa allowance on the pa pattern making, the dimensions will change now from two hundred to it will be two not four. It is one not two. it is 153 and the diameter is 
So let's consider the machining allowance. So machining allowance is here given is 1 mm on all the surfaces including the bore. Now the new dimensions considering the machining allowance will be say that one length will be 204 1 mm on the one side another mm on the another side so it comes out to be 206 because machining is to be carried out on all the dimensions so similarly this 102 again we have to add 1 1 mm on the either side so it comes out to be 104 as far as height is concerned again it is 153 plus 1 plus 1 it comes out to be 155 again when it comes to the internal dimension again it is treated as a negative allowance so already the bore dimension is 58.8 is there in this we have to reduce twice the machining allowance that is 1 so we are going to get this as 56.8 so these are the dimensions we obtained it after the consideration of shrinkage and machining allowance on the pattern. Now we let's uh, try to adopt the what you call the draft allowance on the pattern. So let's consider the draft allowance. For external it is 1, one uh, 0.75 degrees and for internal it is 1 degree. So normally this draft allowance is nothing but it is treated as a tan theta. So suppose that this is the theta is there. Then we have to calculate the values of tan theta. So hence we have to calculate the draft allowance on the pattern. For this, we have to consider only the vertical dimensions. No horizontal dimensions are get affected by this draft allowance. In this case, this 153, which has become now 155. So this dimension we have to consider for adopting the draft allowance on the pattern. So if you consider for the external one, if you consider the external allowance, which happens to be 155 multiplied by tan of 0 0.75. So this will be, comes out to be 2, which I can make it equal to 2. This we have to consider on this surface. Now it is, initially it is 206. We have to add the draft allowance on another, both the sides. So it will be 206 plus 2 plus 2. It means it will be equal to 210. So this dimension will become 210. So there will be a taperness will be granted on the both the sides which I have already drawn here. So these are the draft allowance which is equal to 0 0.75. Similarly, for internal dimensions the draft allowance provided is 1 degree it is tan of 1 degree which comes out to be around 2.7 
for the internal dimension which is that bore one this is already it is 56.8 now we have to reduce two times the what you call 2.7 so which is nothing but 56.8 minus 5.4 which comes out to be 51.4 mm so it means the top dimension should be 51.4 mm and this diameter should be 56.8 remember the draft allowance for the internal features is reverse the external one so in this way the final dimensions of the pattern comes out to be on the top it is 210 at the bottom it is 26 and sideways it will be 104 and height wise it is comes out to be 150 instead of height we mean same that is 155 so in this way the we have to calculate the dimensions of the pattern after considering the shrinkage machining and draft allowance i hope that one now it is clear for you that how to adapt the allowances on the pattern in order to get the correct dimension casting thank you for watching this video